Well, I'm actually Polynesian, Melanesian and Asian. So my mum is Samoan, that's the Polynesian side. My dad is half Chinese, half Papua New Guinean. So that's the Melanesian and Asian side. So it's like the complete package, right? Because you covered everything except for Micronesia. But at least I covered most of it. <laughs> I was born in Leh in PNG, that was in 1989, don't do the maths. We moved over to Port Moresby. In 97 we went to Samoa for one year, then in 2000 my dad got a job in East Timor, so we all got shifted to Darwin. 2004 to 2008 we went to Samoa because my grandma got sick and it wasn't until then that I really learned to appreciate my Samoan culture. So I did Star Search with Mr. T. I also hosted Star Search with Sipso. I did the Hits program, little modeling gigs here and there. Oh, and I also did some work on radio too in Darwin though. And what happened was the owner of the TV station in the Cook Islands happened to be in Samoa at the time. And then he said, look, would you like to come to the Cook Islands in four weeks? And I just went, why not, you know? And 12 years later, I'm still there. I married a Cook Islander. Got two Cook Island Chinese Papua New Guinean Samoan kids. I work alongside my husband, so he owns Marako Island Creations. We paint and design our own hand-painted patios. We do island clothing, island souvenirs and handicraft, and that's what we do. So we're on three shops now. Always respect your parents. And I know that's supposed to be common sense, but that is a cultural thing because in all three cultures, it's the most important thing. And I didn't realize that until I left home. You could ask my mom and dad, I was a shit. Oh, it's a fair, 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 fair. attitude, where that come from? I mean. <laughs> She was always a happy person there. <laughs> it's from when in the womb, you know, the formation comes there <laughs> and the learning comes there, whether it comes out then being a, a, a good result or bad result, it really comes from the mother. I was posing next to um, Taylor Swift. Although they're Papua New Guinea Chinese, they're very Chinese influenced. Their upbringing is very Chinese oriented. So um, I think that's where her business mind comes in. <laughs> Bye, love you. Bye, love you. <laughs> love you, Shaki. I'm going to keep it real with you. New Zealanders, you get some nice people if they don't know where you're from. But I had one ground crew officer. After he scanned my passport, he said, oh, we better get this immigrant back on the plane. So I filed a complaint. And yeah, you get a, you get a sorry, but sorry is not good enough. Just because you're from Samoa and you need a visa to visit here, to be treated that way is just horrible. Living in the Cook Islands is amazing. I just find Cook Islanders are just happy, happy people. I don't think I've ever had a problem. Yeah, over there, over there, when we start over there, like... Aside from just having that backbone of respect, culture-wise, because we live in the Cook Islands, they need to be able to speak Cook Islands Māori. But at the same time, at home, I still speak to them in Samoan. So I like them to learn that. But because we travel to Brisbane a lot, as that's where they were born, my Chinese PNG side is there. So when we go to that side, they have to learn that bit of culture too. As long as they're learning and they, they're not ignorant about it, I don't want them to be in that position where they don't want to learn about their culture. Ain't I